She was getting it right, man. Yeah. She was getting it right. She's righting the wrongs. She's Lions instituting the sins of my father. Lions fans. The sins of her father, the sins of her mother, the sins of the people before her. Mm -hmm. She's righting the wrongs. She's making things happen. Obviously, we talked about how she's putting guys in jobs that deserve to be in those jobs, like Chris Spielman, like Brad Holmes, like Dan Campbell. So this is just another piece of the pie. Like It, it blows my fucking mind that the people before this institution the people before what the lions are now were like yeah no we're we're cool with not having calvin johnson be a part of the team over a couple million dollars like what the fuck are you thinking it is so beneficial to have a guy of that stature a guy of that caliber a player of that caliber and just the man that he is yeah interacting with these young guys coaching these young guys talking to them yeah showing them hey i was 0-16 I was a guy that put up Hall of Fame numbers and still we never accomplished the goals that I would have liked to accomplish in yeah. my career. Beyond that, just see how the organization is going to treat you for all that you put up for the organization. Yeah. yeah. You, I, you, do I want you to be, be – do I want to be great for an organization that's going to treat me like the, did Calvin Johnson? The guy is arguably one of the great – I mean, he is one of the greatest of all time to play the position and just kind of like shit it on on the way out of the door. Yeah. Like, that's a bad sign. Shit that's a bad happen. look. It doesn't happen. Not just for the guys that exist in your team that you, that you, you drafted, guys that want to sign here. So fixing that, I think it, the, the optics of it is, is something that needed to be done. It, it made no sense. Like, the million dollars, the principle of it is just, it's, it's gross, man. Like, I've said this millions and millions of times. Before I was even on the freaking stage, back when I was in my basement, the Ford family and the Lions organization will make millions of dollars off Calvin Johnson's name. Oh, yeah, easily. Even after he's left this earth. Signatures, because jerseys. It, yes, bobbleheads. Bobbleheads, all that shit. Like, just because of what he's meant to that franchise, what mm -hmm. he's brought to that franchise. So what it makes no sense not to pay him that money. And, and like I've already said, I think I think something's getting worked out here because you see him at training camp. I hear more positive things spoken about when it comes to the situation. And I mean, we're going to see. But regardless, it's dope to have Calvin back. It's always dope to have Calvin back. You need guys like that, especially with what you're trying to build, especially how you're trying to – build it with these young guys you're, you're bringing in a bunch of guys you trade it up with a division rival to get this potential superstar receiver and having a guy that was a superstar receiver that was a top three receiver in the history of football yeah. that was one of the best players and best men your franchise has ever produced having him back in the fold is a just unlimited bounty of knowledge and growth for a guy like James.